Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 8, leçon G. And in this lesson, we'll discover together la forme passive. So it's quite important. Take the time to relax and we'll start right now. So I wanted to put an example, simple sentence, okay, here. We've got Jean mange une pomme, okay? So Jean, that's the name of the person. Mange, manger, to eat, and it's the present form. Une pomme, an apple, okay? So if we have a look at this sentence, of course, Jean is the subject of the sentence. Then we've got mange, manger, so it's the verb, okay? Then we'll have une pomme. So that's what we call complément d'objet direct. I know it's a bit scary. So complément, just because it will complete the sentence, it will give more information, okay? Then objet direct, so objet... It's not because it's uh, an apple, okay? It could be a person. It's uh, grammatically, it's an object, okay? So, and then direct, just because between your verb and this complément, you don't have any preposition, okay? So normally we tend to write it like that, C-O-D, okay? Complément d'objet direct, all right? And then, if you think about the sentence, normally... When you've got a sentence like that, so Jean mange une pomme, well, the important thing in this sentence is the subject. Okay? For one good reason, it's just because we start with it. And as it's here in the first place, well, we tend to think that this is the most important thing of the, of the sentence. Okay? So, if we would like to put the focus on le complément d'objet direct. So if we would like to have une pomme as the main thing of the sentence, okay? So it would be actually the whole idea of this form passive, okay? So what could we do? We could first take une pomme, okay? And then, of course, put it in the first place because, well, the focus will be on the first word or first thing that will come in the sentence. Then we take Jean and then, of course, Jean is not coming right after because the verb should come between, between the two. So it will be here, okay? And after that, manger, so the verb mange here, should be transformed. And that's the whole thing of the passive form, okay? You will have to use être, so you will have to conjugate être, plus le participe passé of your verb, okay? In that case, it's quite easy because manger belongs to the first group of verbs, so regular verbs, and then when we talk about the participe passé form, it will be manger like that with the accent on the top of the e uh, here, okay? So let's have a look how it will go. Une pomme est, so the verb être at the present form because here we've got a sentence at the present form, manger, okay? So as I said, you've got this e uh, accent aigu, okay? And the important thing here is that because we construct this passive form with être, then we should, at the end of the participe passé, add something if it's feminine or if it's plural. In that case, une pomme, an apple, you can see here that it's feminine, une pomme. So we will add this e, uh, so the mark of the feminine. Okay, so une pomme est mangée, Jean. And obviously something is missing here. Okay, and the thing that we will put or we will add to construct this passif will be par. All right, so now we've got this sentence, une pomme est mangée par Jean. 
and it's the passive form okay forme active Jean mange une pomme forme passive une pomme est mangée par Jean all right let's take Another example, I changed, I did, I did put this la pomme instead of une pomme, but well, technically it's the same. The important thing is that this passive form will be, I mean, it will be possible to make it at the present form or even at the future, at the passé composé, at the imparfait, because the only thing that will change will be être, okay? So in that case, example for le présent, Jean mange la pomme. You change it and you get la pomme est mangée par Jean. Okay, so that's the one we saw. So it's actually quite easy. But then now, let's see if we've got le futur. So the sentence will go like Jean mangera. Okay, so it's this will eat. Okay, la pomme. And then if you want to put this sentence at the passive form then la pomme sera so remember sera it's the form of être at the future okay so that's the only thing that will change so you definitely should know by heart all the form of être and obviously avoir but i mean not avoir for this lesson but still so you should know them by heart because you will have to use them. Uh, for instance, in this uh, passive form, you, you, you must use them. So, la pomme sera mangée par Jean. So the rest doesn't change. I mean, that's the only thing that you will have to change. You put this être form, okay, at the correct tense. In that case, it's the future. And then let's see le passé composé now. Jean a mangé la pomme, okay, and then if you... Well, change it and put it at the passive form. So, la pomme a été, remember this a été, is the passé composé form of être, okay? Mangé par Jean. The rest doesn't change, okay? So, let's have a look at, at the conditionnel présent because we saw it already in the previous unit. Jean mangerait. La pomme, okay, would eat, okay, si, mangerait la pomme. So if you change it, la pomme serait, okay, and that's the conditionnel present form of être, mangé par Jean. Okay, then imparfait, Jean mangeait la pomme, la pomme était mangée par Jean. And the last one, conditionnel passé, because that's the last one we saw. Jean aurait mangé la pomme, la pomme aurait été, and that's here, aurait été conditionnel passé form of être mangé par Jean. Ok? So remember, être, then participe passé, then par. Don't forget this par because it's, uh, it's quite important. Okay, and this will be, well, the, the three elements that will, you will need to, to, to use to uh, construct this uh, form passive. Okay, I hope it was clear. Uh, have a great day, and then uh, remember more videos on youtube.com slash imagier, and then don't be afraid and send me a little something just to tell me what you think about the videos. The website is here, uh, and then you can find more material there. Bye-bye.